Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. All right, yeah, everybody, Vlogmas in July continues. This video literally starts off exactly where my last one ended. After I got the video uploaded, I'm now heading back to camp to see the kitties. I'm not gonna speed, but um, I do have a vent open on the RV, and uh, it is quite possibly pouring back at camp. So <laughs> I am uh, just trying to get back at this point, and uh, we're gonna have to get a towel and clean up some water that probably is on the floor of Frida. I was hoping that summer was going to finally make an appearance this weekend. Just, just, just more rain, Eric, more rain. Any other summer, it would have been 80 degrees by now, and I would have gone tubing, floating rivers multiple times by mid-July, but it is just never ending this year in the Pacific Northwest. We may not get a summer. It is it's crazy, guys. 72 is the high today. <laughs> All right, slowing down, back on the dirt road full of potholes. Uh, you know, and it did tell us that there was a 25% chance of rain, but we know that even with a 7% chance yesterday, or with a 0% many other times, it has done nothing but rain all single day. It's just, it, that's just the summers you get here. You, you don't... You don't get sunny days, you get you get rain breaks where you, you really appreciate a pause uh, in the rain. This road is garbage. I cannot wait until they fix this road. Just miserable. Miss those kitties. I know it's raining at camp. It's even wetter up here. All right, what do you think? Think somebody invited themselves to camp right next to me? <laughs> it looks like, wow. We still have our campsite to ourselves. Kind of surprises me, actually. <laughs> My gosh, look up in the hills. It's so cool how the mist, I mean, we're way up there in elevation. That's probably clouds, actually. It's crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 that's why you need an awning. Not for sunshine. <laughs> for the freaking rain. Good grief. What a strange summer. Man. <laughs> How did Tater Top fare on that trip? Well, goodness. She is filthy. Poor Tater Tot. Hey, Opie Dopey. Well, yeah, that's not too bad. There's moisture in here on the clock, a little bit on my zero breeze there, but I gotta, gotta close the window, which changes things, because like every other day since I've been back, if it rains, you can't open the windows because you can't let air in. You can't open the vents if it's raining. And it's been raining ever since I got back to the Pacific Northwest. But man, I will plop my chair down right here under the awning and I'll sit out here and not get wet underneath my awning. Heck it. Yeah. I got the kitties eating dinner there. And um, I totally almost forgot. I can open this window and this door now that I have a working awning. Heck yeah. So we are getting a little bit of air through. Well, this, this door provides plenty of air. Now I'll bet you if I got one of those used window awnings from uh, West Coast RV Recycling, you know, I could open this and the rain would go off the awning, and then we'd have nice airflow through here while it rains all summer. <laughs> hey, uh, Summer? Summer? No, nope, no answer again. And on this episode of Cooking with Nomadic Fanatic, I'll show you how to prepare the best tater tots ever. Some Papa's Kitchen, yeah, powder on top there. Heck yeah. 
some garlic salt, and some onion powder. Good. And then you chuck them in there. That's the hard part, right? Well, the hard part is waiting. It has quit raining for a moment here, and it's nice. It's a perfect temperature, although I need some solar. I'm going to have to run my generator every day I'm out here because if we're not gonna get any sun solar, then my batteries are gonna go dead. Even though I'm not streaming any services, there's still other things I need to use. So my tater tots are done, and a lot of people look at my tater tots and always say, oh, they look so different. What'd you do to them? Well, now you know, I put those three, uh, salts on them and they're delicious. I love ice cold ketchup with my tater tots. I don't like room temperature ketchup, but cold ketchup out of the fridge, yes. You better not be a tater hater. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, throw it on the ground! For the birds and, sorry, tater tot. No tater haters. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn it into a tater top. Oh gosh, look at the fog, mist, and clouds rolling through the top of those trees. Wow. I'm gonna enjoy my tater tots here and then watch the, s the sunset? No, I'm gonna watch the clouds set. I'm gonna watch the clouds set and uh, see how it gets dark tonight and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Having my coffee out here. I slept really, really good last night, except for one little bout of like some really, really heavy rain that woke me up just because of the sound it made on the roof of the RV. It was brief and uh, hopefully we're drying out because what is that strange bright orb up in the sky? <laughs> I know you guys are rooting for the sun just as much as me out here. We all need it. We do. Actually, it's really blinding. I'm not adjusted to the sun because I'm not used to it. Let me get my sunglasses. That's better. Wow. Oh my gosh. We need the solar. Actually, you know, I parked there for a specific reason just in case the sun did come out. Because if I'd parked back in the woods like that, just like Liar River, I wouldn't get any solar. But out here, the sun, see it right there? It's gonna go like this and I'll have solar all day to recharge my batteries on the roof of the RV. So this is a good, good sign out here. Oh, went away again, it was just a tease. <laughs> Love drinking my coffee out by the uh, river out here. Good old Winucci, Winucci. I'm gonna try something today with the kitties. Giving them more freedoms, trust. In a place like this where, you know, there's no other campers near me and I can see, I'm going to let them both explore off-leash today. Yeah. One at a time, though. Looks like, looks like Opie's ready. Tara, I'll come back for you, girl. Opie's going to, he's going to go explore on his own. But under my close supervision here without a leash or a harness. What do you think, Opie? This is pretty crazy, huh? You stay close, though, okay? You keep up with me, okay? All right, let's go. Good boy. Hmm. Opie reminds me so much of Jax. He just, he has the same speed, the same... the same slowness, you know, where, where he'll actually slow down and just sniff everything, you know? Here he goes. Good boy. A little more room outside compared to inside the RV, huh? A little more room. Don't eat everything. You don't know what that is. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> Tara's like a little bobcat out here. She doesn't make as many stops as Opie usually does on the leash and anyway. She doesn't need to sniff and eat as much grass. Oh, then she stops to eat some grass. You two are so weird. What is it with you and grass? You don't know? All right. Just come up here. This way. 
Oh, and uh, also last night, I got some really good, unique pictures that um, you just can't really get when you're in the city life, or you, you definitely cannot get when you're at a campground and there's somebody parked right next to you in another rig. So I got some, I turned on the underglow lights of both the rigs and got some really cool pictures. I'll show those with you right now. Um, it's great being able to change those colors when I need out here, but just having the green and all the different mossy colors in the background and just really made the pictures pop out. Of course, I edited them a little bit just to just to make them look even cooler. I'll, I'll probably be putting those up on Instagram today when I go upload this video. But I wanna take Tater Top for a trip up that road that we haven't been to. I, that's not true. I know I've been up there because the Big Falls Trail is somewhere through there, or is that what this road is? Never mind. Well, anyway, we're gonna take Tater Tot out here after I make one more cup of coffee and go falls chasing. See how this is more of a, a one lane road up here, but Tater Tot is super, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Check this out real quick. In the tot. Oh, more grass to tickle the undercarriage of tater tot here. Um, no matter what this is, Frida's not gonna fit down here. So this is just us testing it out. <laughs> need to carry some loppers. I'd be able to lop that down. Whoa, this is a neat little campsite. Whoa, cool. Yeah, if I carried around some, some, some loppers in the RV, I could trim that back and use this. Well, here we go, more trash, tents and chairs and canopies, but much more secluded. Um, however, the problem is people might do what I just did, just out of curiosity, drive down here, get to here, and then, and then realize that there's people here, unless I put two green cones at the entrance. Or like I said, I was talking about getting one of those signs. Even if I have to have it custom made because it doesn't exist, a sign that says site occupied, something that you could put out there just to let people know not to waste a trip in, you know? However, this trail I know does not lead to any body of water because we got really far away from the river up this hill. So no, no pretty views of the water, but I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this one just in case. Whoa, it's a, it's like a banana slug because but he's got black spots on him. I've never seen one with, with black dots like that. Interesting. There are less potholes on this road, but it's narrower. Oh, it's getting noisy. It's getting noisy, folks. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. I had to uh, turn the car around so I could get some pictures for uh, Instagram. It, it's, a, it's a modest little waterfall over there. But it's, but it's our little waterfall. Look how clear that water is, and it's deceptive how far it really goes up over those rocks. There's that level, and then above, there's another level of water falling behind it. Wow. Really pretty and relaxing. Tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, we are gonna go hike the big one. Yeah. But I gotta go back to the RV, I gotta edit what I've got, and then we've gotta go do our little tour back towards Montesano to upload this video for daily vlogs. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out right here at the falls and get back to you tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing well. Please pray for sunshine. See you guys later.